Types of Analysis in Forex Now we are getting into the interesting part of this course, so I would love you to pay more attention, because information that will be provided from now will be very useful. In Forex, we have three types of analysis. Let me tell you this now before we dive into them. All three forms of analysis are important, and you must know and understand them before you start Forex trading. Never trade Forex without the application of all three methods of analysis. This is why I tell people to acquire knowledge. Moving on, the three types of analysis are 1. Technical analysis 2. Fundamental analysis 3. Sentiment analysis Let me explain all three technical analysis. This type of analysis deals with you studying the price movement. Remember I mentioned something about different currency pairs having their different strategies. A strategy does not work for all currency pairs all the time. This is why for you to understand a currency pair and the strategy that works for that currency pair, you have to study the history of that currency pair by looking at the charts and testing the strategies that have been working for such a currency pair. When you do this, it means you have done technical analysis. Therefore, technical analysis is the study of charts, price action, indicators, and candlesticks, and how they work with particular currency pairs. If you know technical analysis alone, and you understand it really well, then your expertise level in Forex is 20%. And this is why traders can never be 100% successful by learning only technical analysis. I tell people that there is more to Forex than just support and resistance or buying and selling when you see opportunities. You don't just jump into the markets and begin to trade. It doesn't work like that. Now that you have an idea of what technical analysis is, let us now move on to the next. Fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis is a way of studying the Forex market by looking at the social, economic, and political factors that may affect currency pairs. For instance, remember that when Donald Trump was in power, Forex traders were really happy because he was the cause of most of the volatility in the Forex market. His political force affected the price movement a lot, and assuming you knew nothing about fundamental analysis, you would have been losing a lot or winning without deserving it. This is why it is important to also learn this aspect. I don't know if you remember economics that you were taught in high school, where they talked about supply and demand. The higher the price, the lower the quantity demanded. This statement continues, but let me end it here and not go too deep. But you can Google the law of demand and supply and then note them down. The laws of demand and supply also apply to Forex trading too, and it is through fundamental analysis that you will get to understand when to buy and when to sell a currency pair. Don't worry about too much of these details. We will touch them when we are studying news trading in the mentorship stage. Remember, I made a statement about hawkish and dovish. These two terms are commonly used in fundamental analysis. If you understand only fundamental analysis plus technical analysis, then your Forex expertise level is like 35%. But in this case, when you take trades using fundamental analysis, you will be right most of the time because the big institutions that control the market are mostly into fundamental analysis. So if you are a news trader, you will enjoy Forex more. But unfortunately, it is only people with a large capital that enjoy news trading, and this is because they are investing for the long term and not short term. By long term, I mean months and weeks. The third method of analysis is the sentiment analysis. I'm pretty sure this is new to you. Let me introduce it anyway. Sentiment analysis is the act of considering how other people feel about a currency pair before you place your trade. This is also very important because if you have analyzed a trade and you are sure that the trade is going to go in your favor due to your perfect analysis, but you ignore how other people feel about the currency, then your trade has a probability of going in the wrong direction. Ignoring sentiment analysis is the same thing as betting or gambling with your eyes, ears, and brain not functioning. Let me give you an example. 
Let me take you out of Forex for a while. Look at Bitcoin, for instance. Bitcoin rose to over $16,000 around 2017. Forex traders knew that at this point, the best thing to do was to sell Bitcoin and secure profit because Bitcoin was going to drop the next year. But if we constantly ignore how other Forex traders think we might lose a lot of money due to our ignorance, in the case of Bitcoin, you will not lose until you sell. But in the case of Forex trading, you will lose if you don't sell. Not really good for holding unless you have a really large capital at your disposal, unlike Bitcoin. Therefore, you will have to apply a lot of sentiment analysis when trading Forex because of the periodic crash and rise of prices at different times. This is why sentiment analysis is important in trading. Why you should use all three types of analysis. If you have been reading these notes, you will understand why it is important to use all three forms of trading. Using all three forms of trading is what makes you a complete Forex trader, and you will have a 70% win rate from your predictions as long as you apply all three forms of trading with wisdom, proper trade management, and proper risk management. This is why it is important to acquire full knowledge of Forex trading and not just go into it. I will need you to read through this whole course from the beginning again and understand them before we move further.